Hi, this is Mike Polito with Goss Torches. I'm here to talk to you about the Goss Aerocetylene Target Torch Tip. Um, I'm going to explain the features and benefits of why this torch is so much better than the competition. To start off with, I'm going to show you the benefits and the features of our GA32 tip. The GA32 tip and all of our acetylene tips are constructed of a two-piece tip. Every competitor that's out there is constructed of a one-piece tip. Why a two-piece tip? Well, for several reasons. But when it comes to actually cleaning the orifice of an aerosoling tip, when it comes to a Goss, you don't need an Allen wrench like you do on every competitor's tip out there. Meaning that you have to go inside, you have to unscrew the orifice, you have to blow it out, you have to screw it back in, and hopefully when that contractor screws that orifice back in, it's screwed in properly. They have O-rings. Those O-rings can get brittle, they can deteriorate, they can pinch, and the next thing they know, they don't have the right flame on that particular tip. All of our tips have a filter that protects the orifice from getting dirty because acetylene gas is very, very dirty. Instead of taking a Allen wrench to clean the orifice, it takes a nut driver and goes inside, unscrews the orifice, and as you can see, voila, there's the orifice. There's no O-rings to worry about deteriorating. It's all brass on brass construction. He cleans, cleans it out, puts it back in, and that contractor is good to go. How fast was that? Now, what I'd like to show you is the way they burn. These are the safest torch tips on the market. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by the safest. I'm going to take a GA14. The flame out of this is going to be about 3,600 degrees. I'm going to brace two black nipples together, half by close and a three quarter by close nipple. I'm going to be using a low fuming, self fluxing bronze rod. To melt these, I've got to be about 1,700 degrees. And once I get done with this braze, this nipple is going to be red cherry hot. Obviously, it's a very hot nipple, but my tip is still cool. And it's also a fully adjustable tip. What I mean by that is you can actually bring that flame down, fully adjustable. This tip will not turn red cherry hot like every competitor out there does. So that's where I'm talking about the safetyness of a Goss torch. It will get warm, but it will not turn red cherry hot. We also have specialty tips. We've got tips that are called the J-tips. We make them in a size 3 and a size 8. These tips are for to get behind the wall, get under the joints. That's where most of the joints fail, is behind it or on the bottom. So start on the back, bottom, finish off in front. Size 3, size 8. We also have G-tips. The G-tip is a great tip as well. This tip is designed for guys that don't have a flame shield or, a, or a, some type of a gel to protect the combustible material behind where they can actually come from behind and get that joint, hit both sides, even amount of heat, you hit the solder, it's called capillary action, goes all the way through. It's also a very safe tip as well. Let me just give you a little quick show here. As you can see, what it what it's does, it's got the two flames, very safe, doesn't get hot. So again, that's how that works. Then we have our self-igniting torch tips. We make these in four different sizes. This happens to be the size GA14L. This happens to be the GA8L. This is the GA3L. And we also have a GA5L. What makes this difference on the competition is that these igniters are replaceable. You cannot replace the igniters on any other competitor torch out there because they're all glued in. All you need is a piezo igniter, three screws, the top comes off, you take out the old striker, you also put, and then you go ahead and put the new one in. So that's the uh, features and the benefits of the Goss Aerocetylene Target Torch. For more information or if you have any questions or concerns, please call Goss Direct at 1-800-367-4677. Also, I'd like to recommend that you guys go check out the Copper Development Association's website. That website is a great website. We work very closely with the Copper Development Association and they can actually help you guys go over the basic steps of how to solder and brace. That's it on the Goss Settling Torch Tip. Thank you so much and have a great day.